Hey guys, I'm Isil and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be starting up a new series soon, a World of Forge mod series. And a lot of the questions I get asked is how do I install mods on Minecraft? So I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install mods on Minecraft and how to install Forge because you're going to need both of those. We are in 1.16.3. You can see there the top left hand side of the screen. It also says Forge, which means that we're already running mods in here. I have a few mods in here as if you didn't already see in the top right hand side of the screen there we've got zeros a mini map if you didn't know what the mod was just a few mods for 1.16.3 as I said these are all using 1.16.3 how do we install forge and mods then how do we get these mods working okay well now we're going to go straight into google so the first thing that you will need to do is go to forge minecraft and it's going to bring you to this link here files.minecraftforge.net Click on this here and this is going to bring you into the Forge website. The top left hand side of the screen here you will see 1.16. Click on the plus and you can select between 1.16.1 and 1.16.2, 1.16.3 etc. This is automatically defaulting to 1.16.3. The download will be over here. You've got the latest or the recommended. I would usually go with the recommended because that's the, usually the most stable type of download. But I'm going to be doing this on the latest version of Forge. I need to click on the installer here. And at the top right hand side of the screen, you're going to see a countdown timer and then it's going to change to a skip button. The only thing that you should be pressing on this screen is the skip button. Do not click on anything else on the screen. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen here, it's going to give you a warning and it will say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Forge 1.16.3? Yes, you need to press keep. You should always and only be downloading files from reputable websites like Forge, which it is, and also CurseForge, which we're going to get the mods from. Once this file has been downloaded fully, click on the arrow here and go to open. And it then comes up with this little icon here that says install. Install client is what we're going to be using here. So we're going to press OK. And it then installs Minecraft into the directory, Minecraft Forge into the directory. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.16.3 forge into launcher press ok that is now installed forge for us we then need to open up minecraft we then need to go into installations and the very first one here is one that has 1.16.3 forged which is the version that we just installed now this may be somewhere else in here you can see you have a number of different forge installations here this is the one for 1.16.3 before we press play we need to click on the three dots here and press edit and this will tell you which type of forge it is it's going to give you an icon which is pretty cool we also need to see the resolution to make sure the resolution of our screen as you can see my screen is a 2560 by 1440 we also need to press more options down here the reason why we need to do this is because with mods you need to make sure that you're allocating enough ram mine has defaulted to eight so it's defaulting to eight gigabytes of ram allocated over to minecraft with mods however this, if you don't have enough RAM, this may show up as 4 or 2, but make sure that it's not 1. The minimum this should be is 2. So if you see here, it says XMX 8G. This could be XMX 2G. So you can change this to a 2 or you can change this to a 4, depending on how much RAM you have in your computer. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Once you have done that, press save. Then you can press play on Forge. So this is the Forge launcher now loading up. We don't have any mods installed except for two the two mods that are installed are forge itself and it considers now minecraft being a mod also so we're going to go in here we're going to create a new world this is the one i was in a while ago we're going to create a new world and the world has installed going to press f3 and on the top left hand side of the screen it says 1.16.3 forge 34.1.19 you have just installed forge for minecraft 1.16.3 well done congratulations you've made your very first step into using mods on minecraft very simple right okay let's go to the next step which is even easier and this is how to download mods and how to install them and this is a piece of cake guys so we're going to escape out again and and go into google and press curse forge curse forge is the biggest website for mods and the most safe this is where all big modders hang out and just click on curseforge.com here. That'll be the first link. You can also save it to your favorites up here. Once you've done that, click on Minecraft here. 
and also once you get in here the first thing you need to do is make sure you go to mods because you get a lot of other tabs up here just go to the mods tab and then you can search by versions we're doing this for 1.16.3 now this is where your first problem may arise downloading and installing a mod version with a version that's not compatible with the version of minecraft you're you're using what i mean by that is if you're using minecraft 1.16.3 but you download a mod that's made for minecraft 1.14.4 so for example thermal expansion is a mod that i love playing with if i press thermal expansion here it will show up as a mod once i press and once i click on it i can see over here that the minecraft version only goes up to 1.15 so it's not available for 1.16.3 if I download this and put it into my mods folder, then I'm going to get this error that isn't, which says it's not compatible with the version of Minecraft. And it may not come up and say, hey, this is not compatible. It may just crash on you. So just enough items I know is a mod that is available for 1.16.3. But you can also go to all versions here and only select 1.16.3 mods. Just enough items, click on this. Then another, another problem that people get is that they also get into the right mod. It is available for 1.16.3 and they come over here and they see Minecraft 1.16 recent files and they click on the download. Don't do that. Click on Minecraft 1.16. Then up here under game version, go to Minecraft 1.16.3. And now you've only got the file types for 1.16.3 and feel free to download on any of these or the most recent one. You're going to get the same error like we did earlier on with the Forge installer. This file can harm your computer. That is because, again, it is a Java file. As I said, we are using this for PC and it uses Java and JAR files. So press keep. It's now downloaded. So once that's downloaded, we're going to open up our file directories. We need to open up two of these. Here's one, which we're going to go straight to our download file folder which has got just enough items here and we're going to open up another one if you want to know how to do that hold shift and double click and it will open up another tab for you where to find our mods folder the quickest way to do this is type in percentage app data percentage in the directory string up here and press enter once you've done that you go into dot minecraft and then into your mods folder however that only works if you have on view here hidden items ticked if hidden items is not ticked here it's not going to allow you to do that so what you need to do is go to windows go to view and make sure that hidden items is ticked because if you go to windows here and then go into your users and then into your user and then app data here you can see that it's grayed out if view is not ticked app data disappears so make sure that that is ticked app data roaming dot minecraft and then you'll have your mods folder in here what we need to do is go to our dot minecraft folder then go to mods and then all you need to do is drag over from your downloads into your mods folder just like that you have just installed your very first mod for minecraft if this is your first time doing that close these down again relaunch minecraft forge will load up again and this time with three mods when we click on mods here it's going to tell you it's minecraft forge and just enough items so we now know that we have installed just enough items and forge successfully and it is for minecraft 1.16.3 so it's got a single player world i'm going to create a new world just press create new world and when your world loads you will see then by pressing f3 that this is minecraft 1.16.3 with forge and we have got just enough items installed. So that is how you install Forge and mods for Minecraft 1.16.3. It's really that simple, guys. If you do get stuck, though, it would be great if you let me a comment down below and I'll try and talk you through that. However, if it works for you, it'd be fantastic if you left a like in this video and hit the subscribe button as well, guys. And we do have that new series of World of Forge mods coming out very soon. Again, I really hope that this tutorial was really useful for you guys. I hope it did help and I hope that you were able to get into mods and download and install Forge and mods for Minecraft 1.16.3. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I am Isol and until the next one, we'll see you soon.